Hi guys and welcome back to my channel in the era, era with O'Hare. So this is going to not be an unboxing, this is going to be a quick review. Um, so let's just get into it. So looking at the top of the box, you have an image of the aircraft. So this is a KLM Asia livery and it is a Boeing 747-400 and the name is City of Mexico. Uh, and it is by Herpa Wings. It is a 1-500 scale. So looking at the bottom of the box, you have KLM uh, Asia logo in old KLM colors, uh, Boeing 747-400, and um, I think this is, I don't know what that is, uh, Mabastab, uh, yeah, if you know what that is, uh, if you're a collector watching this video, please let me know what that means. Uh, it is City of Mexico livery, and then uh, that's probably just the product number there. And then you have the Herpa Wings logo, and there is the barcode, there's the Herpa Wings logo again, and you see the KLM Asia colors go through on the other side. Uh, looking at the top, the same as the bottom KLM Asia, Boeing 747, 1400 scale. Uh, oh, that's probably what it means, a scale. Okay, so it's a scale 1-500. Uh, and there's a item number, City of Mexico, Herpa Wings. And moving to the left-hand side, there's the barcode again. And I don't know what he wrote here, but... Uh, anyway, uh, Herpa Wings logo there. Then turning to the back end side, you have uh, the Herpa Wings logo at the bottom, and just some information about uh, Herpa Wings, and that this is uh, not suitable for children. Uh, information there, and and you could just pause to read. And here is the dimensions of the aircraft, the real aircraft, and pause to read there, and so that's about it. So here is the aircraft, so when I took it out actually, um, the nose landing, uh, well the uh, left wheel of the nose landing gear fell off and then I lost it so I couldn't glue it back so I just um, added some uh, what do you call it hot glue I just uh, added some hot glue gun uh, took my hot glue gun and just uh, just kind of made like a wheel substitute I guess you could say and so let's just get into it so you have the cockpit windows there is no Sky Team logo on this aircraft. Uh, it says Boeing 747-400 and City of Mexico. And then you have KLM Asia. Uh, the front um, exit doors uh, right there on the main floor and the top floor there. And then you have a little symbol here that says... Um, World, worldwide, reliability, and it has the KLM logo and the Northwest logo right there. And then you have the over the wing exits, you have the rear exits, and it says the Flying Dutchman, and the registration is, um, Papa. Hercules, Bravo, Foxtrot, uh, and Mango. Let's just say Mango. And then on the engines, uh, they're not too detailed, uh, but it does have the KLM logo on the engines. And there's the red landing light. You do have a KLM AJ logo on the outside uh, of the aircraft, like on the winglet. Uh, and then you have the rear emergency exits, and then there's the KLM Asia 
logo right there turning to the right hand side exact same thing um, there's no difference because they do not this is a really really old uh, model and it does not have any indication of uh, where the cargo door base would be uh, so it's exactly the same KLM logo uh, I will say though uh, the rudder and the elevators are very detailed uh, other than that it's pretty much the same thing so uh, Papa Bravo uh, sorry, Papa, Hercules, Bravo, Foxtrot, Mango, and the Flying Dutchman. Uh, and then you have the Kalem Colors, uh, Rear Emergency Exit, Over the Wing Exits, uh, Worldwide Reliability, Kalem Logo, Northwest Logo. And then you have uh, the Front Emergency Exits on the Lower and Upper Deck. As well as it says Kalem Asia and just some... I believe to it to be some Chinese writing. It's also on the other side too, which I did not mention, but it's the same thing. Um, and this is Boeing 747-400, City of Mexico, uh, the name of the aircraft. And then on the engines, you have the KLM logo again. You have the, the green landing light. And you have KLM Asia written on the outside of the wingtip. And looking at the top, now you have, uh, you can see clearly the flaps and uh, speed brake flaps there, or the speed brake panel, sorry. And then looking at the bottom, uh, you just have the Harpa logo, the main landing gear, and the nose gear, and that's about it. So. Uh, that's it for the, oh, this video. Hold on one second. And you have an engraving that says Boeing 747 right there as well. Which is interesting. So, um, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please smash the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and have the post notification bell on so you know when I upload a video. Alright, peace. See you in the next one.